Hello everyone, and welcome back. In this video, we'll be going through the mini games in the Oktoberfest event. First of all, the Oktoberfest event is a new event that will run for a week, twice a year. It will start on the second Friday of March, and also the second Friday of October. The weekend following the event will get 50% more experience for a particular creature type in the bestiary. For this first event, it will be all demon creatures. To get to the island, we will start at Thias Depot. Head out the south gate, where you can find a teleport that will take you to the island. Once you arrive, if you go to the southwest, you will find the fishing rods. To the east, you will be able to find the whack and orc, the cart races, nail beam, and sausage eating contest. Each of these mini games can be attempted once per hour, except for the fishing rods, which you can use as much as you want. For the whack and orc, as soon as you jump in, you'll want to hotkey the hammer for your first time to make it easier for future attempts. You'll run around the pen and try to hit the holes with the orc heads and avoid the kittens. If you hit enough orcs, you'll get 5 points. The nail beam can be completed 3 times for 5 points each time. You'll have to drink from the casks until you get the orange message that you are super drunk. This makes it very hard for you to walk, but you have to attempt to make it to the beam and use it. Once you're super drunk, you'll only have to use the cask once to become super drunk again if it expires or if you manage to hit the nails. If you're doing this by yourself, you're better off just clicking on screen or map clicking, letting your character find the way. A dwarven ring will not prevent the drunkenness here. If you have a friend to help you, you can just let them know once you are super drunk and they can push you to the board. If someone else pushes you, the drunkenness will not affect you. The cart race can be done solo or a team of three. If you are successful, you will get 15 points per person that completed it. This means if all three of you manage to get your carts to the end, you will get 45 points each. Through this is fairly straightforward. The cart is pretty fast and will follow you like any other creature. You can move north or south to line it up properly, then make your way to the east. You want to avoid getting the cart through the black tar or next to the slimes. Getting the cart on the road or next to the water elemental will give the cart a significant speed boost. Also, there's an annoying dog that appears partway through. There's a fork you can pick up to the left as soon as you start this, and if you use it on the wagon, it will drop meat. This will distract the dog if you manage to make it walk over that square. I find this isn't worth the effort. If you just keep making your way east over the terrain properly, you should outpace the dog. The food eating contest requires five people to start and is mostly random who wins. If you do manage to win, you'll get three points for eating enough food from the plate. To maximize your chance at winning, you want to make sure you are hungry as possible when you enter. Other than that, it is just luck. Each bite of the food will fill you up a different amount. It can be anywhere from one minute to seven minutes of regeneration time per bite, or maybe even more. Lastly, we will cover fishing. You will require worms to use these rods, which you can purchase from the NPC on this island, and each rod has a 15 second cooldown. This means if you have the rods to yourself, you can run between them all to use multiple. If you are online at a busy time, people could be fighting to click the rods and pushing the others out of the way. You must first use the simple fishing rods to catch a tiny bass. You can then use the stout fishing rods and the tiny bass as bait for a chance to get a small bass. Finally, you can use an advanced fishing rod with the small bass as bait for a chance to catch a bass. As soon as you catch the bass, you will be rewarded 10 festa points. It seemed to take me about 5 to 10 small basses per regular bass that I caught. Now that we've spent all this time collecting points, what will you use them for? You can turn them into the NPC for new furniture, treats, cakes, or lots. The lots have a chance to give you one of the new plushies that can be seen behind the NPC. Hope this can give you some information to start collecting some points during this event. There's much more to do. You can earn points by killing a boss, or hunt some of the new creatures, and more. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you want to show your support, please subscribe, like the video, let me know what you think in the comments. 
hope to see you next time.